Hey guys, Digital David here. Today I'm excited to be unboxing and reviewing for you guys on my channel, a monocular telescope. I did receive this to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. Really excited about this, looks really cool. It's basically being billed as 12 times zoom your normal eyesight. So that's really sweet, really excited to kind of see it in action. And you should be able to use your phone to plug into this to take pictures too. So let's just go ahead, we'll jump right in and unbox it. First thing out of the box we see right here is a smartphone holder. Really nice, they got it threaded on both sides to so use it two different ways, cool. This looks like it's gonna attach for your phone to adjust with the monocular. Thread, save that. Here's your Bluetooth camera. Okay, so it's got, um, sweet. It looks like it's got two different functions on this little Bluetooth remote. I mean, it's really hard to, oh, so we have a camera iOS and a camera Android. So that's nice, at least they make that clear for you what'll work with what device, just a remote shutter. Set that out of the way, set that out of the way. Microfiber cloth, which is nice. Now we actually have how, the instructions on how to use this. Connect to a hand strap or a tripod. Twist your eye cap, focus. Lens cap, safety precautions. So that's really cool. We'll go ahead and see if it's that straightforward. And in here, I'm guessing it's a tripod. So here's a little tripod they give you. Remove the legs, expand out, which is cool. Just twist them. Try to see if this locks into place. You can. They're all kind of held together, connected together in a weird way. Um, so you can even see it rotates, kind of all is like one piece up there. But they just stay just like that. And then you can loosen this around, tighten that up, tighten this up too to get your phone ready. And now for the ocular itself. Looks really cool. It's got a good weight to it. Yeah, really excited for this. This is pretty cool. Got a built-in compass, which is awesome. And again, you can see the threaded spot for you can, you know, you could use the tripod with it too. It does support the weight of it. It would be able, you would be able to use that, which is pretty cool. We'll have to see too how they go about using all this to set up your phone. Nice cap, nice cap on both sides. Nice, again, rub, nice rubber grommets just to keep that sealed and protected. All right, so after spending a pretty good amount of time taking this outside and really trying to put it to use, here are a couple observations I have. It's hard to set this phone up with the monocular and keep it stationary there. See the weight of the device makes it want to fall and you can push it, but it's really hard to push it any further in. Um, I switched tripods. I actually reviewed this tripod in another um, video on my channel. Go ahead and check it out. These tripods are awesome. Really a great deal, great quality, love them. So much better than this, but I'm really glad that they did give us this tripod to use. It is doable, you could do it. I just want to make it even easier because it's just a really heavy object as it is. Um, it's really hard to set up to get the phone on here. So it wasn't included in the instructions, but on the picture on Amazon, you can see how they set it up. So I'll, I'll show the camera above. So everything was included that you needed. The, the smartphone grip, the threaded nut, and basically this plastic adapter that's threaded right there. Too, I found it was easiest to go ahead and do the phone just like this and adjust this to your camera before you try to get it mounted to the monocular. So that's what I ended up doing and it worked pretty well. Then I know, okay, I can go back and look at the camera and see that it's 100% 
where it needs to be. So you can kind of see that picture in picture. And then, because if I rotate it, see now it's off and the light's everywhere. So get that set up first and be happy with what you have there. And that'll make your life a lot easier when then you go to stick this on. And I noticed it was so hard to get it to zoom in and out when it had the weight of this on here on basically what they give you is a nice um, uh, extender if you wear eyeglasses. So maybe if you keep it out, you'll be in better shape to actually be able to adjust it in and out. But as you can see, the weight of the phone wants to rotate this back in. So just an interesting design thing there. If you do keep it there and you're really gentle, then you're able to rotate it in and out. And you'll see on the bottom of this device, there's a plus and minus to know what to do. You can still focus it perfectly right here, which is great. The compass is really cool. Love that they got this little wrist strap. If you're not planning on using like your phone to take a picture of a landscape or something and just want to carry this around because you're on a hike, that sort of thing. So it really is a cool device, a little difficult to use and set up, but I'm also not an expert when it comes to binoculars. Really impressed with the quality though. I mean, Nothing I can find wrong with it. Really feels durable. It's nice to got the lens covers, lens caps for you. The compass is cool just to have that built in. It's really easy to um, focus it right here with your fingers while you're looking through. Um, yeah, so really, really a, a good um, device that I'd say could still have some room for improvement with mounting your phone to it. Again, just kind of a difficult thing to do anyways, and it would help if you had another tripod or like use this tripod for your phone and one for the monocular. So. They both could bear the weight and then you could be able to really adjust this. But pretty handy, nice, it's got the tripod mount, really cool. Um, nothing to complain about here. Go ahead, check it out, read some reviews, see some photos online. The link is in my video description below. It'll take you right to Amazon where you can find this product, the exact one that I'm using in this video. Um, right now, I'll go ahead, we'll throw up a couple of little um, sample uh, pictures and, and video footage right here. We'll go ahead, we'll put that on the screen so you can see what all it looks like from the phone and what it can capture. I did notice while those are cycling through, um, it's really hard to seal and keep all the light out to keep the lens from flaring. So um, just something to keep in mind, if you're really trying to get high quality stuff, you may have to do a lot of editing and um, cropping your photos. But if you just, like I said, want some casual pictures, you're a PI and you're spying on the cheater or that sort of thing, you'd be good to go. Um, so it's really cool. And uh, yeah, you can just see this stuff there. And uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. And I will see you all in the next video.